Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do a really quick video right now. It's 11 p.m. My folks are sleeping, so most likely it's gonna be a voiceover. I don't wanna talk too much, but um, yeah, so I just washed my hair, just finished deep conditioning, and I'm going to be trying out a new product today. Um, it's actually an old product that I've seen like a whole bunch of naturals on YouTube using, and I was like, I have to get my hands on it, but I just been lazy, I just put it to the side until I saw it on Amazon and I got some birthday money. So I was just like, ah, oh, it's perfect, I'm gonna get it. So what I'm talking about is this Revlon One Step Hair Dryer Brush. Like, y'all have seen this, Natural 85, Chizzy Duro. You've seen a whole bunch of um, natural hair YouTubers using this. I'm so excited to use this. Like, I already know what to do. Like, I've been watching them videos, okay, guys? And I'm ready to be hashtag shooketh, okay? So, um, yeah, like I said, right now, my hair, I just finished washing out the deep conditioner. It's probably gonna look crazy. Yeah, as usual. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically, my hair is already detangled, but I'm gonna go back in with my um, Cantu leave-in conditioner and my wild growth hair oil this is good for um protecting your hair from heat and then also my ic's hair straining serum i'm gonna put that in each of the um, sections detangle and i'm gonna go ahead with the blow drying brush um what i saw that worked for whitney um if you don't know who whitney is natural 85 she starts off by using the low setting and then she goes to high um i heard the high gets really really hot so i'm gonna just follow whitney's way because she did like two videos on this hair drying brush and she like figured it out so yeah but this is a really light brush um i don't think i'll be using the cool setting um just because when i watched who else did i watch oh my gosh her her um youtube name used to be journey the waist length she started off with the cool and it didn't even do anything it took forever and i ain't got no time for that like i said it's 11 p.m ain't nobody got time to be staying up and brushing over your hair all right so um yeah so this is what the bristles look like it's like a regular paddle brush and the heat comes from over here but what i've seen from many of the reviews is that most of the heat comes from up top so that's i'm going to be basically brushing it like this instead of like using it the regular way i'm just going to be brushing it down so that it starts off with the heat and it travels down so yeah i'm going to get into it i'm going to Moisturize my hair first. That's what I usually like to do and I'm gonna go ahead and Detangle well blow dry and we'll see how it goes. Like I said, it's gonna be a voiceover I don't want to do too much talking. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it Okay, guys, so I'm gonna start off with the first section as you can see my hair is nice and moisturized And that really helped I think with how my results came out because my hair was soft when I blew it out but all right, let's get into it. So I stretch my hair out because it's already detangled, so I don't need to do any further detangling um, after it's moisturized. So first I started off by using low, and then after I started off by using high. But you'll see, after a while, I just stick to the low because, woo, this thing gets hot, guys. It gets really hot. So on low, I'm just starting from my roots and going to the ends. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Like I said, it helps when you detangle your hair. If you don't detangle your hair, I could see this being a problem, especially with how hot it gets. You do not want to spend your time detangling, struggling to detangle with that amount of heat. So that's how my hair got with just the low setting. And so now I'm it high. But guys, it is really, really hot, so be careful. So this is what it looks like, and I was just like amazed, cause you know sometimes YouTubers, I feel like they get the good products or like the the best of the best products. And so when I saw that my hair came out just like them, I was like, okay, all right, let's get to the, the straightening some more. I mean the blowing out. 
So I'm just going to twist that up and go to the next section. So as you can see, I'm continuing with the low heat first, going from roots to ends. And then after a while, after I feel like it's gotten straight enough, I switch to the high setting. Oh, and also guys, this blow dryer gets really, really hot. Um, I don't know if you'll see, but I like move my hand a little bit lower on the dryer because the middle part that I'm holding right now, it gets super, super hot and you feel like you're burning your hands. So yeah, the heat on this thing, I don't know how hot it gets, like the temperature wise, but it gets really, really hot. But the results are bomb. As you can see, my hair is still shiny, still soft. Like it's important to moisturize your hair, guys. Like this does not strip your hair or make it dry or anything. It keeps it nice and moisturized and gives you a nice blowout. Oh well, yeah, watch what happens when I switch it to the high setting. Like, <laughs> it's too much. And this is the reason why I switched it. Besides the heat, the super, super hotness of the heat. This is why I decided to continue the rest with low setting. Guys, just watch. Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it blew up my circuit. <laughs> like, the lights went off, everything powered down. I was like, oh my gosh, my parents were like, girl, what are you doing? So, obviously, I'm showing you guys. I continued the rest of the sections using the low setting just to avoid that happening again. Okay. <laughs> so, with the low setting, it did take a little bit longer as opposed to the high setting, but I didn't mind. And I started to notice that the low setting started getting a little bit hot too so um which is fine so you really don't need in my opinion you really don't need to use the high setting that much unless you want your hair bone bone straight or unless your hair is like a lot coarser than mine my hair i have 4b hair and my hair is super fine it's always been fine like forever so it's not like the thickest hair so i don't really need a high setting to get my hair straight so yeah, this is what it looks like. That's how my curls are looking. <laughs> and that's the last section that I'm doing. Just like I said, keeping it at the low setting. So yeah, after I'm done, I take out all the twists, and then I went back one more time on the low setting, on the hot, um, well, the hot's the only low setting, but yeah, I went back to just straighten everything out for one last time, um, and get my whole head all together. And I did not use the cool setting at all. Um, when you use cool, the air blows on like the highest setting, so it's high but cool. Um, but like I said earlier in the video, when I saw Natural 85 use the cool setting, I believe it was her or someone else, it didn't really do much for the hair and I wasn't trying to waste time. So that is what my hair 
looks like after I blow everything out. It was nice and soft and straight and it had movement. It was just all around a good blowout. Like my blowouts usually don't come out like that. Usually with my blowouts I can't brush my hair like how I'm doing like <laughs> from the roots all the way to the ends. Like it'll get stuck because like, like I said I use my hands um, to stretch out my hair. But yeah I love the results and Actually, with this blowout, I put my hair into cornrows for my protective style. I currently have faux locks in, faux gypsy locks in. So, um, it was a lot easier for my mom to braid my hair because my hair was blown out. So, yeah. Look at that movement, guys. Hey, Show it off, girl. Show it off, girl. Yes. Flex with your hair, girl. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um... I'm just showing you guys how my ponytail looks, how fluffy my hair is, how big my hair looks. Um, my natural hair journey has gone a little bit downhill since last year. Um, I haven't been taking care of my, ha my hair that well, so I had to cut a lot of my hair, had to trim a lot of my hair. So the growth isn't that big of a difference, but to me, I do see a difference, a good difference. So yeah, guys, that's in my video. If you like this video, if it helped, if it made you want to go get the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer, go ahead and give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.